Well, this is it. The last of the, the stuff to burn. It was a long time coming. Of all things, I got held up with a back injury. Another one, like the fifth one in the last four years. I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong with my life. I must just have an incredibly fragile back for some reason. Uh, so this weekend I didn't get this done. I would have burned this and I would have had the grass seed down on Saturday night or Sunday morning. But uh, it wasn't to be. I spent Friday through Tuesday in bed apart to just go to the bathroom. Which is an excruciating experience. Which is nice for the world to know about. Uh, but anywho, yeah, this is the last of the brush to burn. This is it. After this, it's done. I have some logs. Uh, you can't see them, obviously, but they're there in the blackness, stacked up over to the side that will be convenient go-tos for any kind of romantic soiree between myself and a female, if that ever does happen again. It's been a very long time. But I'm not rushing it because, you know, dying alone isn't that depressing, I suppose, to... What am I, what am I talking about? It's horrible. My life is a horrible mess. Um, conveniently, a stump nearby, which I wanted to get rid of, somehow caught an ember and burnt down most of the way. Uh, we got uh, thunder and lightning above here. Storm coming from the northwest. Pretty typical. Just had one of these the other night. Uh, so this is it. This is the last of it. Once this is burned, I just gotta scoop up the ash, get rid of that, and I can throw the uh, grass seed down here. This is about a quarter acre, or I should say actually 200 by 200, or 200 by 150. Some spots may be 200 by 200. Some may be 150 by 200. So we're dealing with a 0.45 of an acre here. This property here is pretty big. Uh, it's on a hill, so I don't have any great way to score the soil. Um, we can't bring any type of machinery down here, not even on a track. <sighs> we can't use a, uh, a rake because my back is apparently about to fall off. And, uh, I have 50 pounds of grass seed, creeping red fescue and Kentucky bluegrass mix. The Kentucky bluegrass mix spreads by seed, and uh, the uh, creeping red fescue spreads by rhizome creep, hence the word creep, creeping red fescue. So we got a little each world there. Bluegrass is awesome because it doesn't get over a foot tall. Creeping red fescue will go as high as 24, and it just kind of bends over and flops. Um, so I'm not sure what the hell is going to happen with that, but I got equal parts. And, uh, yeah, you know, creeping red fescue is great for shade and soil stabilization on banks like this. So that, that's what I'm doing. And I'm just praying to the grass gods that they germinate my damn seeds and make this look how I want it to look in my mind. So it's going to rain here in a bit. I doubt it's going to put off these 5 million degree embers here. These things are very hot even from 5 feet away. There's that stump over there in the foreground. Yep, this was, uh, I would say this was eight days of work. And probably three to four days of 12 hour days. I'd say it was six 12 hour days out here. It was an absolute nightmare. I hope I never have to do this again. Whew. This is really something. I mean that in a big way. 
I've never, I haven't done anything this huge in so long. I don't know if I've ever done anything this big by myself. This is probably the biggest thing I've ever done by myself. Uh, but it should be awesome if it works out. I want it to work out. I want the seed to grow. I want the grass to grow and take over and stabilize the bank. Um, if not, I guess I can get a bunch of cranberry and blueberry trees and just undo all the progress I made at this time plant stuff that I want down here in a way that I would like it. But I'm not going to give up that easy. I want to uh, have this grass be a success. So you might find me down here with a rake. <laughs> I hope not. If my back gets better, you might find me down here with a rake going at it from here to there, trying to score it in. That's about the best I can do. I can't really spread dirt down here. Although I got 30 bags of compost mulch. They're only $1.80 a bag at Walmart. Or I mean, uh, Menards. So, I mean, not very expensive. And you could probably get a bunch more spreading it. That's a huge deal, huge, huge deal. And I worry about compost and manure. I wonder if they did it right. If they didn't do it right and age it right, you're gonna end up with uh, seeds from anything, the horse or the chicken or whatever creature it's coming out of. And the compost, whatever was eaten or thrown in the compost or in the manure, that's going to end up as seed in your ground. And man, you could wind up with some crazy stuff. <laughs> uh, stuff that just doesn't even grow around here. You'll get it. Like a, like a disease. So you got to be careful with that stuff. It's very safe to go with topsoil, although it's not as rich and wonderful. But, uh, yep, this is what I got going. It's a nighttime update of my boring life and the progress. Behind me here is the river. Probably can't see that. Oh, yeah, you can't see it, probably. Thunder and lightning above. Wind blowing. It's beautiful. About two steps ahead of me, and you be in the river. Not a good place to get drunk. You wouldn't, uh, it's a deep river, it is very deep. You would, uh, and it's quick. You would probably not survive if you fell in intoxicated and you didn't, uh, get back to shore within a minute or two. It's a very strong current. Swimming in a river is a lot different than, uh, swimming in a lake. It's a very strong current, it goes one direction, you have to swim with it in the direction you want to go. People die in rivers all the time. Just two kids died in uh, Eau Claire. They both fell in the river, drunk. And they did not survive. One guy, they never found him. So anyway, I'm not getting drunk and stumbling into this river anytime soon anyway <sighs> my back hurts but I can stand here and watch a fire I guess I have to sit down every couple of minutes I can't stand for long I'm getting old I don't know what's happening to my body lots of bad stuff falling apart in every way shape and form death is letting me know that I'm temporary. Just imagine it's only going to get worse from here. It doesn't get better. <laughs> you fall apart slowly but surely. Ugh. Night night everybody.